Hey y'all, I am starting another vlog. It is Thursday morning and I'm currently just got done. Hold on. Is that better? I don't know. But it's Thursday morning and I just got done filming, editing, making a thumbnail and everything for this video that's supposed to go up. I really want to challenge myself for this month to do my best to post twice a week. Um, even though I have a lot going on, I really want to post twice a week. So, Sundays and Thursdays are the days that I want to post really badly. <sighs> I've just been, like, in a funk lately, I feel like, because I haven't gotten a chance. I just feel like I've been so busy that I haven't gotten a chance to do stuff that I like to do, which makes my life more fun, like going out to brunch because I love doing that or, like, reading all of my books. Like, I have all this this whole stack i have this whole stack of books that i still need to read and i haven't had a chance yet just because of how busy i've been so one of the things that i like to do that makes me feel better is posting so whenever i post a video i feel accomplished i feel good about it and so that's why i've just been trying to prioritize that more for this month of april don't mind my little baby luck just sticking out like that but I just thought that I would come on and say hey. Now we just kind of waiting for my video to get done uploading. So once that happens, I'm going to go to work. Unfortunately. <laughs> and then I'll see y'all a little bit later. y'all my hair looks a little crazy but I'm back home from work now and I thought that since the light is still good and stuff outside I should go ahead and do a little try on haul of all the stuff that I got from Shein I ordered this stuff a couple weeks ago and yeah I haven't even worn anything yet because I wanted to do a try on haul for y'all I thought I was going to do a separate video but you know what mm -mm. I'm not I'm just gonna add it to the vlog so i did take this out of the package and everything but i haven't tried anything on yet so let's do that right now also i wanted to know that this is the dress that i ended up wearing to work today it broke like one of the straps broke so i had to go into <laughs> survival mode and i had to just take some paper clips and like twist around this little piece which is the side that broke had to paper clip it. I had on like a jean jacket today. So you couldn't even tell anyway. So it was, it was alright. But I was panicking. Like, oh my god. Because like, this was like sagging. And I was like why is this side so much lower? And then boom. I went to the restroom. This whole little piece just ripped up. Like it's not even attached. I mean I, I got the dress for like $3. I thrifted it. So I'm not even too worried about it. But still. I'm kind of disappointed that it's broken now. I'm actually just going to try to clean off my mirror. Alright, so this is the first dress that I'm going to try on that I'm the most excited about. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is the first dress immediately absolutely not it's cute and everything but look at how short it is it's way too short look at that no i ordered a size medium in all of these dresses by the way i think that it fits like if i got a bigger size this would be too big i'm not wearing a bra by the way so that kind of makes a difference but this would be too big if I got a large. So I think the issue is like just the length of it. I would not feel comfortable wearing this at all. But I'm very disappointed because look at the pattern. Y'all know that this is my jam. Look at the floral print. This is so disappointing, honestly. It could have been so cute. I have three other dresses to try on. Alright y'all, so this is the next dress 
kind of have to stand on my tippy toes. Let me see if I can lift this down a little bit, maybe. That's a little bit better. So, this is the next dress. This one, I love the color. I love the design and everything. The only thing, again, it's very short. I don't know what's going on like, with these measurements. It's a really cute design. I like how this is and everything. But it's just a little too short. Like I couldn't, like even if I wear shorts under it, I just don't think that it would be a good look for me. But I got this in a size medium too. I think something is wrong with like the sizing as far as the length wise. I think that the measurements like width wise are right. Because I feel like if I got a large, it would be way too loose, like in the chest area for me. I don't know. I used the direction, not the directions, but you know how they have like a little size guide? I used that whenever I was picking out these clothes and everything. So, I pay attention to the reviews. But still, they're just falling a little too short for me. Which makes me really sad. And this one... I don't even think I'm going to try this one because I don't even like it, to be honest. I thought that I did. But looking at it now, it looks like a fairy type of dress. I don't like the material of it. It feels like um, like a costume, almost. So, I'm not even going to try this on because I'm just going to return this because I know that I'm not going to really care for it. And it's going to make me look bigger because... All of this is just loose. So I'm returning this, returning this, returning this thing that I have on right now. And hopefully this one, which is the one that I wanted the most. I have faith in this one right here. This has to be the one. It has to be the one because this is the one that I'm the most excited about. I actually have the same dress. Not the exact same. It looks similar to this one, but I didn't get a chance to wear this one because I outgrew it. This is a small and I needed a medium. So this is a medium. As you can see, I got this one from like a more higher quality boutique. This is perfect, y'all. We can kind of compare the dresses. I got this one from a more higher quality boutique. And you can see how the material of it is just way thicker and it's not like that stretchy material. This one... The color of the flowers are different, but that doesn't really matter. But the material of it just feels a little stretchier. I'm keeping this. I'm not getting rid of it. Because if I ever lose weight, I'll be able to wear it. But let's try this one on because this has to fit. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be very, very sad because it has to fit. My fear just came true with this dress. I knew it. I didn't even tie like all the strings up all the way, but I just knew that it was going to be super thin. Like I don't even, I'm pretty sure I won't even be able to wear underwear with this to be honest. Because it is super, super thin. I don't know. That's the haul. I'm kind of disappointed now. I thought that this haul was going to be a hit, honestly. Because I made sure to pay attention to everything that I was picking as far as the sizing and everything. I looked at the customer reviews. I did everything that they normally tell you to do. But I'm just not 100% happy with my purchase, so I'm just going to have to return this stuff. Hopefully. I don't even know if you can make a return to Shein. So, we'll see about that. Alright, y'all. So, I just got done eating. Don't mind the outfit change. This is like my 15th outfit of the day today. Um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, so I'm about to do my skincare routine and I'm going to film it for y'all because it's not that much, but I still wanted to film it because I kind of want suggestions on skincare products. If y'all can give any to me, first going to show you the products that I like to use. So I might be doing this a little bit out of order because normally I do my skincare routine partly in the shower and then whenever I get out, I finish it. But since... For the sake of filming this video, I guess I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do it all out the shower. So these are the products that I use. 
I've been using this product for at least since 2017, I want to say. My first memory of using this product was in 2017. So I love this facial cleanser. And then, I am breaking out a little bit, but it's like hormonal breakouts. So I don't know what to do about that. But I use that, and then I use this Witch Hazel to take my makeup off. And then I use this. I just started using this. I've been had it, but I haven't really been using it that much. But this toner from Kiehl's. This is a herbal extract toner, alcohol free, made with whole flowers and pure extracts for normal to oily skin type. I have extremely, extremely oily skin, so I need that. And then for my nighttime moisturizer, I use this Pond moisturizer at night, but if this was the morning, I would be using this one because this one has SPF in it. This kills one. But for right now, I need to wash this makeup off my face. Okay, how crazy is it that I'm filming a skincare portion of this vlog and I completely forgot to actually do the first step of my skincare routine. I guess I got a little nervous and forgot. But normally, I would take one of these little cotton rolls and use the witch hazel first before I actually wash my face. But I just forgot for some reason. So, let's just pretend like I did this first. I don't know why I get so nervous whenever I film routine videos. I always forget something. Then, I go in with this little um, toner. And I wipe this all over my face. And I like the way it smells. It smells like sweet tea. I just kind of let this dry down. And then I go on with this Skin Renewing Retinol Serum. I don't do this one every night, but I try to do it as often as I can remember. And I just do a little bit of this. I used to put it on in the morning, like before I did my makeup, but then a couple of y'all commented and said that it doesn't really mix well with the SPF and that I should be doing this step at night. So. I listened to y'all's comments and I started to do it at night instead of in the morning. And then now I'll go on with my moisturizer. My moisturizer. I need to restock on my um, Q tips. But I like to use this because this is super thick. I don't know why my forehead looks bigger than normal. Does my forehead always look this big? Anyway, that's it, y'all.